Welcome back. By now, we have learned that what is a game. Game is basically a description of a strategic interaction. We have also seen some examples of those strategic interaction. The natural next step is to figure out what happens in those games. So mathematically speaking or in game theory speak, this is called solving the game. So we let us start that try to solve the game. Let us look at prisoner's dilemma that we have learned. We had Ranga and we had Billa and Ranga can confess and decide not to confess and Billa can independently confess or decide not to confess. And I think these were the payoffs that we had used. What should Ranga do in this situation? Should he play C or should he confess or should he decide not to confess? And similarly, what should Billa do? Of course, if we do not put any constraint on the behavior of Ranga and Billa, then they can do anything. It's possible that they end up here, they may end up here, they may end up here or they may end up here. All are possible. So, what does it mean to solve the game? Our idea is to, to impose some restriction on the behavior of Ranga and some restriction on behavior of Billa. Of course, those react restriction should be acceptable to all. So, one innocuous restriction should be that Ranga is not randomly picking C or D. Ranga picks C or D such that he gets the maximum benefit given what Billa is doing because Ranga cannot control what Billa is doing. So, Ranga has to form a belief about what Billa is doing and Billa has to form a belief about what Ranga is doing and then they have to act in that act in a manner that give that give them the maximum possible benefit. So, we are going to bring the notion of equilibrium and equilibrium is quite popular in physics and engineering. What do we mean by an equilibrium? It is basically a state of balance. If we want to be more elaborate, we can say that a state in which all forces or influence remain in balance. We can take it further and say that it is a state that does not change on its own. And why need to talk about equilibrium? Because let us say that Ranga ends up here, Ranga and Billa they end up here, then of course Billa will have a regret that given that Ranga has confessed, if he had also um, confessed, he would have been better off. Because if, if he had confessed in place of remaining silent, then his jail sentence would have reduced from minus 20 to minus 5 and that would have been a better for Billa. Of course, it would become worse for Ranga but nevertheless, it would be better for Billa and Billa is thinking about his payoff only and not the payoff of Ranga. And that is why what we mean by an equilibrium here, a setting, a state that does not change on its own. Of course, this state is made of, of behavior of Ranga and Billa. So, what do we mean by here? That a state in which neither Ranga wants to change his action nor Billa wants to change his action given what others are doing because Ranga and Billa as I keep on saying they do not have control over others action, others behavior. So, that kind of equilibrium we are looking for. But if you remember from one of the earlier videos, I talked about that they are interacting, they are interacting, acting for once only. So, what does it mean they, can they change their behavior? Because after one interaction, they are separate. So, it does not 
make any sense to talk about changing their behavior. So, we bring another notion that they do not have any regret or they would not like to or they would not like to given a chance, given a chance they would not like to change their actions. So, do we have such situation and we will talk about it in great detail later on. Let us say if they are here minus 20 comma 0, Ranga is getting 20 years of jail, Billa is going to walk free here, Ranga would like to give him a chance, Ranga would think oh Ranga, Billa is going to confess, so I am better off here confessing. So, this cannot be such equilibrium. How about can we say, can we talk about this particular box, can this be the equilibrium where Ranga is going for confess, Billa is going for confess, they both are getting 5 years in the jail. Given a chance, would Billa would like to change the behavior? If Billa changes the behavior or action, what does it mean? That he moves from C to D. Of course, Billa takes Ranga's action as given. Billa is confessing. So, if Billa changes his action, his jail term will increase from 5 years to 20 years. So, clearly Billa does not have any incentive to change his action. Let us look at it from Ranga's perspective. They are here. If Ranga is given a chance, should he modify his action? How can he modify? He can move from C to D and if he moves from C to D, he will in decrease his payoff or he will increase his jail sentence from 5 years to 20 years. So, if Ranga is given a chance, he would also not like to change his action if they happen to be in C, C. So, what we have seen that neither Ranga nor Billa are not neither Ranga nor Billa is interested in changing his their actions if they happen to be in C, C. Similarly, let us look in this box. Okay. What happens in this box? Both of them would like to change their behavior because in this box, they both decide not to confess. So, Billa takes Ranga's behavior that Ranga is not confessing as given and if Billa changes his behavior, he would move the situation from D, D to D, C which is this box and the payoff to Billa would be higher. Rather than going to jail for one year, he would get to walk free. And so, therefore, this cannot be an equilibrium. This cannot be an equilibrium and this also cannot be an equilibrium. You can check for yourself. And in the way we have discussed, C, C is going to be the equilibrium. And this has a special name. It is called Nash equilibrium that is in honor of John Nash who was a mathematician and was the first to propose this equilibrium concept. But we are going to revisit this Nash equilibrium in much more detail later on. Right now, let us look at simpler way and more digestible way of getting solving the game. The problem there is that not all games are amenable to the solution concept that we are going to discuss later, but Nash equilibrium always works out. So, the focus in this course is going to be Nash equilibrium, but for time being we will take a break from Nash equilibrium and look at other solution concept. But I also said in very beginning of this video that we need to impose certain behavioral restriction on Ranga and Billa and certain restriction on the situation to be able to solve such games. What are those assumptions? And those assumptions should be acceptable to you. And my job is to make you think that these assumptions are not 
you know, very harsh, like they don't rule out most of the situation. So, one assumption is that we say that players are rational. What rationality is? We already talked about that players are perfect in decision making. It means they are able to compare their choices. So, their preference is complete that we had discussed earlier. Whenever given an opportunity to compare two options, they are able to compare. Then they are also consistent. 